So, you want to bag your Toyota Fortuner. Hello and welcome to another video guys and as the title may suggest it, yes, this is our updated video ng ating Toyota Fortuner 2nd Generation, okay? We have done changes on the front, the back side, the system layout, lahat ng yon update. But if you want to watch our first catalog video, click the link down below or here in the screen kung saan ko may lalagay. That is our first catalog video using my own Fortuner but this time we're going to cover this client's Toyota Fortuner. And to know more kung anong binago namin dito sa catalog video namin, watch the video. And while you're at it, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for notification. And so, welcome sa mga bago lang dito, newcomers. We actually do air suspensions for cars here in the Philippines. We actually do catalog videos as well. So it will be actually easier for you to understand how to bag your, as the title would say. Ngayon, we have indeed changed our catalog and may mga pagbabago tayo for the benefit of the car. The front suspension or the front design is now using a different bag. It will lift higher now. The rear side as well is using a different bag and it will lift higher now featuring our lowered and lifted package. If you watch our vlogs, na feature ko na yun dati. But this is actually formally cataloging that change. So yun yung ginawa natin sa front and the back. And of course, the system, makikita nyo later on kung paano namin tinago yung aming system. And, spoiler alert, hindi mo na kailangan tanggalin yung spare tire. So, we'll discuss that in a bit. For now, lend me your ears, okay? As we will be diving in to the technical details on how to bag your car. We're going to jack up the car, remove the wheels, show you the bags, lahat ng designs makikita nyo. And, yeah, you'll know how to bag your car indeed. If you have a Fortuner, lucky you. If you have an SUV, na similar sa Fortuner like the Montero, Nissan Terra, kung ano mang kotse yan na medyo malapit dito, you're in luck pa rin kasi this is actually the same platform as those SUVs as well. So it's gonna be very very similar or relatable at least. But that's enough talk for now. Yun ang ating intro and let's now proceed to our under chassis discussion. I'll see you in a bit. Hello and welcome to the front suspension of our Toyota Fortuner second generation. So, as you can see, hindi ko na tinanggal yung gulong kasi kitang-kita naman natin yung suspensions natin when we turn the steering wheel. I actually set the bag to the maximum lift capability so I can, I can actually check my clearances for this build. So, hello. This is it. Ito yung ating airbag. Of course, we utilize the stock suspension and we converted it to air spring. Take note, this is a double wishbone suspension sa unahan. So, things can get a little bit tight especially for this type of suspension or for this car. So, Fortuners are actually notoriously tight talaga yung mga clearances. Montero Sports, Navaras, they actually have more or better clearances than the Fortuner. I'm not saying it's impossible to do because I wouldn't be making this video if wala tayong success rate dito sa mga gantong kotse. So, this is me checking the bag's clearance sa ating uh, cowling. This is the cowling. Okay, I don't know if you can see it properly. Let's actually move my fingers. You had to hammer that out. Yung cowling natin is actually uh, very, very close from stock. Kung stock yan, medyo nakayakap yan. Ang purpose lang naman yan is to, you know, hold or cover the springs on that area. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So, may cowling yan dito kasi na pinalo. Okay, kailangan paluin talaga yan, boys and girls. I really have to I reiterate that very, very, ano. Uh, specifically, pero the good news is it doesn't have any functions sa chassis or yung structural rigidity niya. It's just a cowling. Basically, it just protects the spring from any type of debris or something na magkaklag doon. Pero we are using bags so we need to put some space on it. Now, that being said, kami naman, maingat naman kami sa bakal kasi bakal ang forte namin. Don't worry. This is something na nagunagawa namin for three years na. So, take that into account. I won't get into details on how we converted this because that's our trade secret. So as you can see, if maalam ka, uh, you'll see what we did. <laughs> Pero kung hindi ka pa maalam, that's fine. Okay? There's more to discuss on the back side. But, but yeah, we actually changed the bags ng dito for the update. Nothing too fancy on the front. Pero a better bag lifts more. So yeah. Let's move on to the back side of the car where we'll actually discuss the change in our suspensions or bags dun sa likod. Okay? Let's go. 
Hello and welcome to the rear suspension of the Fortuner. I'm actually shooting inside the wheel because so I can show you the movement of the car when we put it up and down. We are using a triple bello bag on the rear side of the suspension. Pardon the dirt, medyo madumi na siya. See, we test drove it on the rain yesterday. But yeah, ang ginawa natin dito is basically we replace the spring with an air spring na triple bello. We kept the spring catches, so if you want to go back to stop, you can still go back to stop. So, that being said, let's actually try to give you some dynamics. So, this is what it looks like when it's dropping. Okay? This is very interesting. It's a point of view. It's a POV shot of what the bags will actually do when we deflate it. So as you can see, there's a flex on the bag because we're using a trail arm suspension on the rear side. So, hindi siya perfectly aligned yung pag-drop nung dalawang spring catch. So, there's a build of tilt or angle pag nag air out yung kotse. But, rest assured, okay, pag nagkahangin naman siya, dumediretso siya. We're actually aired out right now, obviously, if it's not obvious on the bags. And when we lift it up a bit, on a certain ride height, diretso na siya. It actually is uh, pressed nicely. So let's actually turn off the compressors for a bit by actually using our fitment app. We can do that now. And let's actually raise up the car. This is the limitations of trail arm suspension. Since we have a turn or we have a tilt angle, we really have to balance out where the bags will actually center out. So you can see, when fully aired, there is a tilt angle on the other side naman. I don't know if you can imagine it, but I know you get the gist of it. And that is how we did the bags on the back. And of course, yung bags na ginamit namin dito is kakaiba. It's a triple bellow bag. Okay? It's actually very, very similar to Arex. And yeah. So let's move on to the system side of this car where we'll actually show you our added features, mga binago namin for the catalog, and so, let's proceed with that right about now. Alright. Hello and welcome to the system layout ng ating Toyota Fortuner. Let's actually move away from a bit. And as you can see, immediately, we actually put the spare tire back to the design catalog, and we actually put our tank right beside the spare tire. So we don't have to sacrifice you're removing the spare tire from the system or from the car just to put the system. This is actually suggested by the client, Sir Tony. Maraming maraming salamat for the suggestion. It actually benefited a lot of clients, even me, my own Fortuner, in update din namin. And yes, we actually mounted the tank with U-bolts. And then of course, you might be wondering, asan yung compressor? The compressor is actually inside the spare tire. If makapansin mo, yung ating spare tire, yung face ng wheel ay nakabaliktad. Dapat nasa, nasa ano yan eh. Originally, nasa loob yung face. Nilabas namin yung face para magkaroon ng parang uh, cavity doon sa ilalim. If we put down the spare tire, as we would we do now, we actually hoist down slowly. We can actually see na yung ating compressors ay nasa loob. Nasa actually, you know, bear with me, I'm slowly hoisting it down. I don't know if you can see it, but it's probably going down now. But yeah, as we hoist it down slowly, may expose na natin yung mga compressors natin. And of course, nakikita nyo na rin yung mga first few questions nyo. Hindi ba malalaglag yung compressor pag nilagtinanggal yung spare tire? No, it won't. Wala ang problema dun. Kasi ang compressor natin ay nasa taas. Nakabolt siya sa chassis. Bolt and nut lang naman. And there we go. Our compressor should be right over there. Hiding from you guys. Hindi nyo siya kita. But now it's there. And pag tinaas mo ulit yung ating hoist, walang problema. We will be hiding it again once more. Once we put back the spare tire. So that was an ingenious idea by the boys. Maraming maraming salamat boys for taking the time to think about this. Maraming maraming salamat sa team ko. They've done a good job. So, yeah. 
Alright, moving from the top sa my cabin area, sa tailgate, we will be actually, you will be presented with our system from the tool tray. Okay, dyan lang natin kasi pwede ilagay yung system natin, lahat ang iba pwede paglagyan. But that's fine because ang um, purpose naman talaga niyan is to hide the valves and the system safely. And we have good access here pag kailangan namin mag-check for leaks. And so yeah, that is the summary of what we did for the system of this car. Okay na naman lahat, all good. And atuwa lang ako sa mga changes na ginawa namin. Let's actually bring down the car. Let's actually talk about the outro, our conclusions about the Fortuner as we end this catalog video. Join me. Alright, hello and welcome to the outro of the video. Okay, as you may have seen in our discussion ng ating under chassis, the front, halos parehas naman. Iniba lang namin yung type of bag so it can lift higher. Sa rear naman, may malaki tayong pagbabago kasi from a double bellow, we went for a triple bellow for that maximum ride, comfort, and lift capabilities. Now, ang pinaka-kicker talaga sa catalog change na to is yung ginawa namin sa spare tire. Tinago namin doon yung compressors and nilagay namin yung tanke sa gilid. And now, you can actually have your, your air suits on your SUV without sacrificing your spare tire. Yun yung nangyaring problema dati. Before, we couldn't remove the spare tire because we don't have space to do it. And you know, with proper suggestions sa client, salamat nga pala sa owner nitong Fortuner na to for suggesting such mind-blowing ideas. Kaya namin na-improve tong platform niya. So, we are a company na open sa suggestions. Who knew na mapapaganda pa namin yung catalog? So, thank you sa client namin for suggesting. Now, let's actually discuss the dynamics of the car. Let's actually connect to the car and show you that lift na sinasabi ko, pinagmamalaki kong lift. Alright, so let's connect to the app. One moment, and then let's actually race the whole car first. So, isempre, it's a heavy car coming from air out. Let's give it time to adjust. Alright, so now we're back, and let's actually give it more air. I gave it time to recharge, so you can actually see if I lift it on the front side. May tataas pa siya, okay? At is makita nyo live yung phone. Sorry, I almost dropped the phone. So, sa likod naman, taas natin. Alright. So, this is our lifted look. Okay? Yan naman siya pag naka-fully raised yung kotse. Let's actually quickly show you how is the height difference from stock. I think this is higher than stock. Alright. So, the car is now lifted from the floor. Binigyan ko siya ng time to charge kasi it came out from air out. And as you can see, this is our maximum lift capabilities. I think we're higher than stock, probably two inch lang. Okay, so we don't have a Fortuner reference. Maybe my height will be the reference for you guys. Pero yes, this is the dynamics of it. Let's see. We have around I don't know eight fingers gap sa sa front, and we have around say eight eight to nine fingers sa likod. And this is actually the best part of the update is because you can actually go higher than stock. So if you want a light trail, lang konte, alam mo yung light off road, or if you just need a lift for your car, you can go higher a bit. So yun yung benefit nito. Of course, the best way to look at the car is medyo lowered siya. So let's drop the car, okay? Lahat yan sa cellphone lang, so fitment, engineering management system. Plug ko lang yung ating at well, actually you're watching it, so that is the dynamics ng ating Toyota Fortuner. How do you like the changes? And of course, for ride quality, we have virtually eliminated the uh, stiffness of the Fortuners sa likod. The Fortuners are really, really notorious for being a stiff SUV. Medyo matigas yung rear suspension nila because that Toyotas are actually built to carry. If you want a softer ride, ang argument that is the Montero. Pero if you have a Fortuner and matigas ng konti yung likod ng suspensions mo, we have technically fixed it by changing it to bags. Medyo malambot na yung plate and suspension sa likod. And yeah, is the Fortuner a good platform for stance? Well, I, it's both. It's good for stance, it's good for utility pa rin. Yun din yung kasi yung kailangan nating i-highlight. It's an SUV. It's a sports utility vehicle. Nawala ba yung pagka-utility niya? I really disagree na hinawala siya. Nandiyan pa rin yung lift capability niya. It can carry the weight of the car and the cargo, kaya pa rin. Hindi mawawala yung pagka-utility vehicle ng SUV natin. 
And that's the best part of it. Is Airsus very recommended for SUVs? I really do. Kasi, cause I do own a Fortuner na naka-Airsus din. The utility of it, na nawala na yung, ano, alam mo yun, yung squatting sa likod, is just best of both worlds. I like to see my car lowered. I like to lift it when I need it. It's all there. Reading ready lahat. So that's something you need to know or need to take into account. And, yeah. So, what do you think? Airsus na rin ba kayo? Sa mga mayroong Fortuner, here it is. Sa mga may SUV, here it is. Another sample for you guys. The testament is here. Try nyo na lang. Madami na nagpagawa. And we're just waiting for you guys. So, that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you like the catalog video. And while you're at it, please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell icon for a notification. Okay? So, maraming maraming salamat sa mga bago nga ulit dito. Ito pong ginagawa namin. And we actually educate people to ease in to air suspension and to show you the benefits of it. And para naman yung mga sa mga technical guys, makikita nyo yung process. I know this is just a gist of what we will be doing to your car. Pero at least you have a visual representation or visual education for you to know on how to bag your car. Or kung ano mang kotse, ang sunod natin sa next episode natin. So, thank you for watching. It's been Cal from Fitman Engineering. And you're watching Fitman TV. And I'll see you on the next episode. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Thank you.